Okay, so this is a Tech Wednesday. I'm gonna show you how to join two wires. I wanna join them in the best Honda way we know. I don't mean to rip on Hondas, it's just that we get this. So what you wanna do is when you're gonna join these two wires, is you want a ton of wire sticking out the end. So you're gonna strip it about this much, right? You're gonna strip about that much off. And then what you do is you put them side by side and you twist them like this. Like the more twisting you get, the better connection you're gonna get, right? So you want about that much sticking out of it. Then if you wanna be really cool, you wanna bend that over and then wrap it around again. So it's like that, see that? But then to make it extra secure, you need this. We don't want this wired out of a problem because I twisted it. It's got a lot of twists, that's it, nice. It's, yeah, I mean, this is, don't, you don't wanna pull on it too much, but it is no, very secure. Don't, don't pull it too yeah, Don't pull on it because it'll stress it. But you need a lot of this because not only does it secure the joint, makes it stronger. So what you do is you, you wrap it around. You don't want to do it real smooth, so you want to sometimes, you know, like a little bit of that. Oh, that was nice. You see? And this is a quick way to do it. See that? Look at that. I ain't never yeah. wrapped words like that But before. then if you don't have enough, got to get in camera, George, right? If we haven't got enough, just go a little bit more. If you, if you really want to be cool, and if the car's making a lot of power, you want more tape. Let me see if I should got the tape backwards, but that's good because you so this is what you want to do, right? Don't cut that, you want to have a flap. You want to twist it so it's got a flap. So this is what we're looking at right here. That is a good joint, look oh, at that. Nice. Pulling that really hard. No, You're no. not going to break that joint loose. So this is another Tech Wednesday. This is how to join two wires the right way. All right, so I'm going to show you the way I solder two wires together. I'm going to show you what you need and how to do it. There is a bunch of different ways you can do this but I'm gonna show you the easiest. This you can get from Harbor Freight. This is your heat shrink. The one I like to use is the marine grade. It'll actually say right on here, marine heat shrink. It actually has a glue inside it too. So when you heat it, when it shrinks onto the wire, actually the glue will come out and it helps not only make it watertight, it actually sticks on the insulation, makes it a stronger joint. It's a little bit more money, but it's definitely worth it. When you're gonna do a joint, you want it right. You only wanna do it once electrical solder. Don't get this mistaken with plumber solder, it won't work. It will say electrical solder on it. This we actually buy from Amazon and it's the better value. Next thing, a solder and iron. See the jumbo iron that I'm using? This is from Home Depot by the company Weller. This is a 30 watt iron. It's overkill, but most of what I do is joining wires, putting connectors together. A larger iron makes your job much faster. It's got a wider tip. It will actually conduct heat faster. And again, we're not trying to spend two hours joining two wires together. We wanna to solder it quick, get onto the next job. Next thing you're gonna need is some wire strippers. And again, get these at Home Depot. You might even be able to buy the stuff at Harbor Freight. So let me show you how you're gonna prepare the wires. So you, you saw me do this earlier. Don't do this. You know what's gonna happen? We're gonna cut that out, and we're gonna make fun of you. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your heat shrink. I will typically cut it about an inch to an inch and a quarter. You're gonna put this on your wire first. Just put it on one side, push it about 10 inches down the wire. Is the wire diameter here. Look on your wire strippers right here. It'll usually say the diameter of the wire or even the gauge Basically is when you close these up all the way, it doesn't cut all the way through the wire. This is a thinner wire. If you go too thin, you will actually cut all the way through it and damage the core on the inside. So what you need to do is look at the diameter. You're gonna strip about half an inch to five eighths of an inch off there. You're gonna squeeze this, pull it, squeeze this, pull it. This is the way I join them. You'll see some people put them this side by side and join them. You want the wire to be going this direction. So you don't want the wire doing this. You can solder each end and then what typically people do is heat them and put them together. Problem is you don't always get a tight joint and also trying to hold this with one hand, you'll use the little vise or the pliers or the little wire holders. It's finicky. You wanna make it easy. It's just you soldering, you wanna make it easy. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna put the wires like this as a cross. And you're gonna bend one way 
around itself and the other way around itself. So it continues, you see that? Let me get a focus. You see it's the same diameter as the wire now. This is where we're gonna bring our soldering iron in here. And again, we're gonna use our larger soldering iron like I was talking about. What you need to do is add a little bit of solder to your iron so you end up with a little piece on the tip. This is what I do. I put my soldering iron under this, tap a little solder on there, take it away. It's that quick. Give that a second to cool. You can use either the end of your soldering iron, use a heat gun, use a lighter, make sure this is even each side of the joint, and go ahead and shrink that down. I use basically a heat gun. You can get this again, Home Depot, probably Harbor Freight. A lot of people use it for stripping paint. Um, again, this is the trick. Make sure this is even over your joint. Turn this on and you'll watch this shrink. And again, after it shrinks, you'll see the glue will come out of it. Keep this in all directions. Don't dry your hair with this, because it will dry your hair, and I think it'll burn your hair. So again, don't get too close to it, don't burn it. Once you warm this all the way, you'll basically see it shrink, and then you'll see the glue come out of it. So there we go. You see on the end of that heat shrink, you see the glue that's actually coming out. It's like a clear. Well, that actually sticks to the insulation on the wire, and not only makes it waterproof, it also adds with the strength, you're not pulling just on the joint, you're pulling on the insulation too. So I'm gonna do the same thing with a larger wire, just so you can see it again. Okay, so here we are again with same idea, thicker wire. Remember, put your heat shrink on first so you don't forget it. Now you can get a better view. You're not gonna cross them all the way here, you're gonna do it about here. This wire is gonna wrap around here. It's gonna go in two different directions. So what I do is put them like here, put my fingers on here and twist it gives it a much smoother joint. Again, twist them nice and tight. You see that? So it's the same diameter as the wire, and it will hold still while you solder it, which is, again, the important part. You see that is evenly soldered all the way around. It's got nice, even coating. Next thing you're gonna do, slide your heat shrink on there. All right, so there we are, I see you can see but the glue was actually leaked out on both sides a little bit which makes that 100 percent sealed again it's marine grade it's designed for boat applications where this might be sitting in salt water you don't want the corrosion getting onto the wire so this seals this and again it's strong now this isn't your regular twisted together crappy wire this is a true solder joint what do you say? Now you look like, like, like a strong young pup. Go ahead and give that a tear. Now don't hurt yourself now. That's some strong stuff. All right, so, so what do you say? Think we have a deal?